Hello everyone, Leonard Coffer here for Uke Jams, and today we're taking on a great rock classic, China Grove. Now the chords for China Grove are pretty straightforward, uh, but there are a couple of different licks that we need to get down. So before we get down to the individual licks, let's take a look at the chords. Okay, we have an A chord. We have a B chord, which I tend to play as a bar chord. We have a B suspended, and uh, to do that, I just roll this uh, ring finger down and cover the top two strings instead of covering the top one string. So we have a B, B suspended, B, B suspended, okay? And they come uh, next to each other in the song. So having the B and then the B suspended works great. Now we have a B minor seven. We have a C sharp minor. And the C sharp minor is just like the B minor, up to a C, up to a C sharp. So we're going to play it on the fourth fret bar, and then the ring finger on the top string, sixth fret. Then we have a D. We have an E. I play my E a little differently than most people, but uh, you can play an E however you like. We have an F. We have an F sharp minor. And we have a G. So those are the chords that we have for China Grove. The two licks we have uh, involve uh, single strums with the Z chord. So we have single strum on the A. All right, that's simple enough. And we follow that with two strums on the Z chord or the Z chord. And to do that for this song, we need to mute all the strings. That gives us a Z chord. And I'm going to use, and I recommend you use your pinky finger, lightly laid across all the strings. You need to do it lightly to get no tone. If you go too hard, you'll start to get tone. So we want no tone, just rhythm. Okay, so we're going to have two beats of A and two beats of Z chord. And we do that twice. Starting to sound a little familiar. Then we follow that with two G's, two D's, and then three A's followed by a Z chord. So it, when we put it together, it's like this. One, two, three, four. 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 to sound a lot like China Grove and it's key to get this uh, lick in there because it really makes the song pop really lets people know hey we're doing China Grove justice we're not just doing up down up down over here anymore okay so that's the intro and it comes again uh, at the end of the song and then uh, at the end of the verses we have um, a section where we have a G and a D, and then we have two measures of A, and we're going to play those as all down strums, all eighth notes, and the final one will be a single strum. So we're going to have eight A's for the first measure and one A for the second measure, and they're going to be eighth notes, so they're going to come very fast. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Now let's put that in context with the G and the D that come before it. Whoa, China Grove! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's try that. Whoa, China Grove! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you notice I do mute the strings right after that ninth one because I want dead silence. Let's do it once more time. Whoa, try to grow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those are the two tricky bits to the song. We've got the intro, and it's essentially the outro, and then we've got that nine eighth notes of the A. All right, here we go with 
China Grove. We're going to do the intro four times, and when we do it as an outro, we'll do it four times. That's China Grove for this is Leonard Coffer for Uke Jams. Until next time, remember, play every day. It's good for your brain.